We all hope that one day single-use plastics will be a thing of the past. But for now, they're not always easy to avoid. So to make sure you're buying the most recyclable plastics you can and disposing of them correctly, it's a good idea to learn what these little numbers actually mean. The code actually tells us what type of plastic it is. Is it PET, PVC, polystyrene? Each number represents what it is. All right, let's get started. What's number one? Number one is uh, PET. You find it typically in soft drink bottles, water bottles. It's one of the most recyclable types of plastic that there is. OK, so what would that usually be turned into? Most likely back into a bottle itself. OK, so number one's good. We can actually utilise that. What about the lid? I always wonder. Keep it on or off? I suggest to take it off. Generally, the lids can be a different type of plastic to the bottle itself, so therefore they need to be separated. Some councils may say to keep it on, but even doubt, take it off. Very good to know. What about number two? Number two are typically milk bottles or juice bottles. They've got this cloudy colour. Now, when they get recycled, they're probably not going to become a bottle again. They might become a park bench or a plastic pallet instead. Bottles and containers labelled one and two tend to be the easiest plastic products to recycle. But plastic type number three is where things start getting tricky. Number three is PVC. Now, PVC, this might surprise you, this is PVC. Yeah. Same type of plastic as your pipes. Oh, OK, because that's where I had heard it, the PVC piping. PVC contains chlorine-based chemicals that make it stronger and more durable. And while this might make it handy for plumbing, it's best to avoid the number three at the supermarket. It's actually a very difficult plastic to recycle. They're actually phasing it out and switching it up to PET, so more of the number one plastic. This is uh, an, a newer version of the bottle, which is now PET. Same product, better plastic. Absolutely. In the scheme of things. In the scheme of things. <laughs> Number four. Now, number four is not quite as common, but you'll find it in a lot of the condiment bottles, like your sauces, that type of thing. But this has um, got a special quality. It's, it's, it's squeezable. OK. So it's quite the, a characteristic of this type of plastic. Because this plastic is softer and more flexible than others, you're likely to find the number four on a lot of plastic wrapping and grocery bags, which should stay out of your recycling altogether. Plastic bags, the best thing you can do is actually um, bundle them up and take them to your supermarket. Um, Red Cycle actually collects them. If you don't do that, then they need to go into your general waste or your landfill bin. One thing that you shouldn't do is never put your recycling into a plastic bag. That won't be recycled. OK, I'm definitely guilty of that because I thought plastic was all the same and I'm putting it in and then getting it in. So that's a really helpful tip. What about number five? Now, number five are things like ice cream containers, yoghurt tubs, yeah. these types of things. One thing I'm always curious about, should I be rinsing them out first? Yeah, look, it's a good idea not to have it full or even half full. So if most of it's out, that's OK. But generally speaking, give them a, a little rinse out. Number six. Now, number six is polystyrene. Polystyrene can be recycled, but not through your curbside bin. Oh, OK, so people can't be putting that in here. No, no, no. The trouble with polystyrene is it's quite a light material. If you want it recycled, it's often done at drop-off points and they'll actually compress it back down, take out the air, and then they'll send it away to be recycled. Obviously, polystyrene is on the really bad end of the spectrum. How do we avoid using it? Well, look, classic is if you're buying meat from the butchers, it just get it in a plastic bag, or you can take your containers to the butchers and not have any plastic at all. All right, so that's one to six. Is there a seven and beyond? Yeah, look, there is a seven. Seven is the last number. Seven is other. Hang so on, so seven is everything seven else. Seven is everything else. So it could be a, a degradable plastic, it could be a compostable. And there's 20 or 30 different types of plastics in, the, in that category. I'm feeling like because that's an everything else, that's going to be really hard to recycle. Typically, it's not taken into your council recycling bins. It's interesting that you mention councils because they vary in what they can and can't recycle. Is that right? They do. So if you want to be sure about what will be recycled, um, just jump onto your council website. Um, they've really got great information. I'll never do the plastic bag thing ever again. Thank you. <gasps> Can't believe I did that. <laughs> Heinzy there, helping us decipher the Da Vinci Code of Recycling. Very nice, uh, Joe. <laughs> when it comes to taking measures to achieve zero waste, Sweden is leading the pack. Last year, 46% of the country's household waste was turned into energy and 70% of all packaging was recycled. 
Sweden has also reformed its tax system to make used items cheaper to repair. And they're also onto the fact that so much fast fashion ends up in landfills. So researchers are working on finding new clothing materials that are less damaging to the environment. So let's hope that catches on here too. Yeah, up next, the doctor's car take the pain out of migraines and headaches. Plus, an Aussie beauty icon tells us how to achieve the ultimate healthy glow right after this.